What's up guys and welcome back to the History of Comic Book series where today we will be looking at the evolution from 1998 until 2000. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the evolution is a very strange time in the history of comic book films because it's when comic book films started to be resurrected again. Of course we had what many considered the golden age of the comics with the Batman films and the Superman films. However, because of the dark age and because parents were complaining and studios and writers did not understand the characters, we got a series of flops such as Batman and Robin as well as Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Ooh. So, many people thought that comic book films were a write-off at this time. You know, they were done and there was no potential for them to take to the screens again. However, during the evolution a couple of films were released that made it seem that comic book films were back and they were back in a big way. So the main film during this time which I can see that turned round public perception for comic book films was Blade. Now Blade was a very odd choice to kind of resurrect the comic book genre because Blade is not the most popular comic book hero or figure. I mean, at the time, he weren't really very popular. I mean, I think most people, if they didn't know him from the comics, knowed him from the Spider-Man TV show in which he was in for a couple of episodes. So I don't think many people knew this character. So when they decided to make a Blade film, and Marvel didn't have a lot of influence in this, they sold off the rights to several of their characters because they were in financial difficulties. They sold the rights to Men in Black, they sold the rights to Blade, and what they did with Blade was they made a comic book film which took influence from darker themes. It took a lot of influence from the horror genre, which seems strange now because many people now think that, you know, comic book film is kind of its own genre. However, at this early time, it was very strange that you could take influence from the horror genre and put it in to what many people considered kids' films. I mean, Batman and Robin and f comic book films like that, which were failing at the time, were all kind of marketing kids and toys rather than adults. And what Blade did was it marketed adults. It said, this is taking inspiration from horror films and it is for an adult audience not for a children's audience and that started to make people change their mind because it showed that comic book films didn't just have to be influenced for kids it didn't have to just be marketed for kids and unlike films like Batman Returns Blade did not experience a massive massive kind of lashback or like a whiplash from parents because kids didn't go to see this film because they weren't allowed to because it was an adult film so what this showed is that comic book films could be marketed for for adults and they could be successful so probably the main reason for Blade's success was for the adult audience and Blade is probably the only film during this time which had quite a good success however it did show that comic book films could be shown just for adults and while Marvel were suffering financially and um, were not really in the position to produce movies themselves as their own studio, what they did was start selling off their rights. They sold the rights to X-Men, to 20th Century Fox. They sold the rights to Spider-Man, to Sony. And due to the success of Blade, now not all because of Blade, but in part because of Blade, these studios started to put together plans to develop their own movies and by the year 2000 we got a little movie you probably haven't heard of it called X-Men which once again started what I want to refer to as the comic boom because since then comic book films have had a massive impact on popular culture. So in conclusion the evolution might be one of the shortest periods in the history of comic book films however it is the one which has the biggest long-term effects on the franchise. What the evolution did was it showed that adult audiences could enjoy comic book films and they did not need to be silly or comedic or marketed for children so that kind of cleared out 
all of the campiness. It cleared out all of the let's just do it straight for kids. Let's make it silly. Let's not make it serious. Not realistic. Cleared all of that out and made serious comic book films which could be enjoyed by all ages including adults. And within the next few years after the evolution what we would see is comic book films coming back in a massive way. So thanks for watching guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this instalment of the history of comic book films. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved quality content in the future. And I have really enjoyed doing this series, I think I'm about halfway through now however, you know what, I'm still enjoying it and I'm still going to keep doing it. I hope to bring a new instalment every month so I will see you in another one. See ya!